In other news tonight, the Crane Independent School District is making national headlines this week for having a number of confirmed chlamydia cases. However, that number may not be as large as the school district initially thought. CBS 7's Lauren Lamon spoke with officials who say although many were tested, there have only been three confirmed cases of chlamydia in the county. Lauren? That's right. I spoke with the state's health department who says they have only had three confirmed cases out of Crane County in the past couple of weeks, but have had eight confirmed this year. National headlines of a chlamydia outbreak was the news that took this small town and put it on the map. But how the news spread started with a meeting. Our school nurses and uh, high school principal. The group sat down with a local physician who was concerned about the number of students and residents testing for the disease. That meeting led to a letter addressing all district parents stating that several cases have been reported, followed by an additional sentence stating the number of cases reported have been significant. They had tested several, but only three confirmed cases. So uh, we were trying to be proactive and Maybe, maybe we were jumped the gun a little bit ourselves. Regardless, Superintendent Rummage says he wouldn't change his decision to pass out the letter because he is at the district to educate students. And this was a prime example of a situation that needed to be explained. If we had one case in the county, it's one too many. You know, the parents need to know. Rummage has been a teacher or part of the administration at eight schools in Texas. He says at each school, every sex education class has solely taught abstinence. Anybody that abstains from sexual relations is not going to get this disease. So abstinence does work. That idea, however, has residents talking. They should teach comprehensively sex education. In a perfect world, abstinence would work, but um, but we don't live in a perfect world. Um, in a perfect world, we wouldn't get chlamydia. Currently, only junior high students take sex education courses, but after this news, Rummage says it's time to reevaluate and bring it to the high school level. A meeting with the school board will take place later this month to determine what needs to be added next year. Even with the added course, the superintendent says the district will remain an abstinence teaching school. In the studio, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS 7 News.